What's going on, everybody? I am Adam Richmond from ITV's Barbecue Champ Man, Finds Food Man versus Food Food Fight. You know, food programs in general. Um, and diehard Tottenham Hotspur FC fan. And this is a list of my top five favorite moments in Tottenham Hotspur history. Now, coming in at number five is something that is a great moment for me personally because of who it affected negatively the most. And that would be the special one, Jose Mourinho. Now, I, have, I, I happen to know this gentleman on somewhat of a person level since he was more gaffa for soccer. Aid. That's right, Jose and Rui and Jose Di Marais, the triumvirate at Chelsea, were our coaches for the rest of World Squad for Soccer Aid 2014. Now, they did a VT package because, as you may or may not know, I am a much smaller mammal than I used to be in my big burrito days. And I work my ass off but in the VT package I made a point of wearing a cockerel on my chest on my track jacket I wore Spurs stuff I even wore a Spurs wristband into Old Trafford when I played at Soccer Aid and Jose would even say to me as we went up to Manchester together the goes well, you a Spurs fan. what happened to Townsend listen listen special 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 how special was New Year's 2015 for you brother 5-3 and as someone who didn't realize that Spurs have the uncanny knack of snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Who realized that despite the amount of saturated fat that I've eaten, that supporting Tottenham Hotspur may take more years off of my life. Um, to see the eventual league champions fall to an incredibly talented young squad. A lot of whom were minted right there up at Enfield, right in our youth system. Um, well. It definitely, I can't say it warmed the cockles, it might be the sub-cockle area, but either way, 5-3 sp for Spurs to beat Chelsea, who would go on to win the league in pretty, pretty definitive style. To see them win 5-3, that well, was a pretty damn good New Year's gift. So that's my number five moment. Now, at number four, this is a very special moment. See, much like a playful Qatari sheik who wants to play with his billions or a wild, flamboyant Russian playboy who wants to rebrand our club, these things have avoided Tottenham Hotspur, much like a place in the Champions League. However, in one magical moment in 2010, a man equal parts striker, footballer, and stork, Peter Crouch with one blinder of a shot, propels us over Manchester City and right into the Champions League. Now, granted, this was right at the beginning of my time becoming a Spurs fan, and I didn't realize that it wasn't going to be the standard, but I do believe. And the game's about glory after all. My number four moment, crowd scoring over City in 2010. Now my number three moment, I actually owe to those wonderful DVDs that they sell at the fan store over by White Hart Lane. In fact, most of the great moments I've seen have come from those compilations of victories over Arsenal or great goals, Tottenham Hotspur, Tottenham Hotspur 100 greatest goals. But I admit it's a great way for someone who has fallen in love with the club yet didn't grow up with the club to learn our history. And one of the most glorious moments that I can imagine that I personally saw happened in January 2008, League Cup semi-final, second leg, 5-1 drubbing over the Woolwich Wanderer, Woolwich Arsenal, Arsenal FC, um, with goals from, well, Galaxy star Robbie Keane and Lennon and Jermaine Genus. And, well, to actually realize Nick Bender, my gosh. But what I think is even so great now is that, yeah, sometimes we don't always come up on the winning end of our North London Derby encounters. But to know that we have the potential, that we've got the history to do something like that, to have that kind of achievement over our arch rival, well, it's galvanizing. And I remember my first ever match, I'm friendly with Clint Dempsey. He got me my tickets to see the 5-2 loss at the Emirates. And I'll never forget how heavy hearted I was. But to know that we did and we have beaten Arsenal before and that we have the potential to do it in such definitive style, well, it gives me enough heart to then go into that next weekend with a high heart and a song in my heart. And I can't smile without you. My number three moment, 5-1 over Arsenal, January 2008. And that concludes the very first part of my top five favorite Tottenham Hotspur moments. So log on for this second half, number two and number one, and find out what my absolute favorite Tottenham Hotspur moment in history is. Welcome back, I'm Adam Richmond, and this is the second half, number two and number one of my top five list of my personal favorite Tottenham Hotspur FC moments in history.